What up, YouTube? G4 Lady here once again, back with another video for you guys. Today's topic, I'm going to talk to you guys about female hip hop and who is the queen of hip hop currently in 2018. As of this recording, Cardi's album has only been out for one day. It's Saturday. Her album dropped on Friday. And is that one album enough to call her the queen of hip hop? Is that one album enough? And one hit with uh, Bodak Yellow enough to say she's better than Nicki Minaj. And, and we can't even just talk about Nicki Minaj because we had other contenders as well. Did we not forget about Remy Ma when she dropped a sheether? When people said that was one of the best female diss songs ever. You know, and she had won an award that same year. Or do we talk about Young M.A.? Young M.A., when she had that dope-ass freestyle and she had that hit song, Ooh, <laughs> I know y'all remember that shit from last year, Ooh, <laughs> like that song was everywhere. It kind of felt like Young M.A. was poised to take that spot for a little bit and then out of nowhere she just kind of dropped off of the map and didn't put no music out for the longest time and it seemed like Kardak, I mean Cardi B just came and slid into that spot like she slid into that spot that young M.A. was taking too long to reach that Bodak Yellow came and we just kind of stopped talking about young M.A. like we just kind of stopped anticipating her album and the main and we just kind of started only anticipating when Cardi was going to drop her next album like could she, is she a one hit wonder or could her album actually be great and so far and so far after listening to the album like I said the album is a decent album like I said it's a decent album despite the ghostwriter claims and shit like that it's a decent album I can't say shit about Card uh, Cardi B's album it ain't a bad album I was ready to hate on her at the album being uh, trash I was ready to say she was a one hit wonder but clearly she's not she's not a one hit wonder and not to mention she's likable as fuck as well so she got that factor going for her as well so with all of these things in mind, all of these things I just mentioned, who is the queen of hip-hop? I feel like you can't answer that question. I feel like at this current time, you can't really answer that question. I feel like everybody, like nobody has been that dominant of a force or kept the baton that long other than Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj been the queen for so long and she just now dropped that shit. She just now dropped that shit. And I feel like nobody's picked it up. <laughs> I feel like other people been trying. They'll pick it up and they'll drop this shit again. You know, Young M.A., she tried to pick it up. She got Butterfingers. She dropped it. Remy Ma trying to pick it up. She picked it up. She dropped the shit. And Cardi, and Cardi seems like she might actually be the one holding on to it. But who knows? It's too early to see. It's too early to know if it's Cardi B. Especially... I don't want to, and especially when I don't, when I say I don't want to disrespect Nicki Minaj like that, to say that one super smash hit with Bodak Yellow and uh, one good album that's uh, certified gold currently, we, I, we know it's probably gonna be platinum, but it's certified gold right now that that it's, it's surpassed everything Nicki has did. Nicki has put out hit after hit after hit after hit. Nicki has held the female hip-hop game down for years. So I don't want to disrespect her and say, oh, Cardi B just that new chick that's getting her out of here, but I can't dismiss that Cardi don't have the, poten the potential to do so. Cardi is young. Cardi's a fresh face. You know, she got time to do it. So if anybody's going to do it, I feel like Cardi can, but that's not to say that Young M.A. can't, but I feel like Young M.A., she waited too long. First, she came out with a dope-ass freestyle, built up all of that buzz. She came out with a great song, a couple great songs, too, but she didn't put out a full-length studio album. That's what we all was anticipating from her. Like, we supposed to be talking about Young M.A. right now. This is supposed to be Young M.A.'s time to shine, and I've never seen someone so egregiously drop the ball. <laughs> drop the ball, and Cardi just was right there to catch that shit. Cardi was right there. So, so 
like I said, to answer this question, I feel like you can't. I feel like there is no effective answer right now. I feel like Nikki done held it down for so long. She done held the crown for so long. Cardi is so new. And I feel like Remy kind of been stagnant as of lately. I haven't really, you know, I mean, she's been putting out something here or there, but nothing on the level of Sheether. And I'm kind of wondering, like, did she fizzle out with Sheether? Was that as hot as she was going to get, you know? Like, was that all we was really waiting for from her? And that was it, you know? So, at, at the time stands of 2018, I feel like there is no queen of hip-hop. I feel like it's in the in the, it's up in the air. Nicki can make a comeback. Young M.A. can make a comeback. I don't know. Remy's kind of in last place with it right now. And Cardi, Cardi seems like she's poised to be the next queen of hip-hop. It's too early to say right now. It's too early to say right now, but I feel like it, it's it's neck and neck between her and uh, Nicki Minaj right now. <laughs> it's neck and neck, like the up and cool newcomer with the most potential versus the one who held the crown for such a long time, you know, but that's just my thoughts on the whole matter. Y'all can hit me down in the comments down below. Y'all can tell me your thoughts on the matter. Who's the queen of mainstream pop and hip-hop right now? Chief Foley here signing off, and thank you guys for watching.